Hey guys, welcome to writersblockbrewing.com. It's me, Matthew, and this is episode two of You Brew, I Review, in affiliation with Grog Tag Custom Beer Labels. Today's episode features Freebird Brewing's M. Night Wild Rice Stout, an American stout. Now, if you guys would like your homebrewed beer featured in this series, please contact me. Freebird Brewing is out of Afton, Missouri, and run by home brewer Josh Ani. Josh doesn't yet have a blog or YouTube channel to promote. However, Freebird Brewing is a tribute to his dad, and he just wants feedback on his fourth ever home brewed beer. What an honor. Josh, thank you for sending this to me. Now let's take a look at the beer. Now let's get a closer look at this American stout. Real nice foam on it, mocha in color, light brown, real creamy, frothy looking foam. As for the aroma, mmm, initially getting some sweetness, a lot of roasted, dark kiln malt, mmm, really picking up a deep chocolatey, a subtle coffee flavor. Very nice, subtle, sweet aroma. I'm sure that's going to be accentuated as the American style warms up. But before we go into the taste and evaluation of this beer, let's review some of the highlights that went into this partial mash extract homebrew. Now Josh, with fond memories of growing up in northern Minnesota, remembers two of his favorite flavors, freshly harvested wild rice, and freshly tapped maple syrup. To incorporate those flavors into his five gallon batch of the M. Night Wild Rice Stout, Josh added one pound of rice raw during the mash and later primed with maple syrup during the bottling process. What great insight into the beer and the brewer behind it. Thanks again, Josh, for sending this out. Also, if you guys would like to see the full recipe, check the video description down below. And now, let's taste. Mmm, subtle coffee, rich, dark, chocolatey subtleness to it as well. That might also be the maple syrup coming out, getting a little bit of sweetness with that. This is first and foremost a delicious beer. Josh, I congratulate you on brewing your fourth batch and it being a success. Congratulations, really. Mm, and that coffee and chocolate sweetness coming on the forefront of the palate turns bitter real quick. And that's where I'm really getting a sense of dark chocolate from this beer. I think the body, the mouthfeel is very light. I don't know if the wild rice added that. I'm not picking up any wild rice specific flavors. I think that kind of just allowed the body to lighten up. Uh, and that's fine with me. This is a delicious, light-bodied stout that is full of flavor. As I said, up front, sweet, chocolatey coffee, going bitter towards the end and all the way through the aftertaste. Congratulations on a fantastic beer, Josh. Really, pat yourself on the back for this being, again, only your fourth ever homebrewed beer. Guys, please comment down below and give Josh some words of encouragement, some support, some congratulations, because this guy really deserves it on this beer. And guys, if you ever want your homebrew beer featured in this series, please contact me. Information is down in the description box. And it's not just a great way to get feedback on your beer, but promote your site, blog, YouTube channel, Facebook page, Instagram, whatever you got. Also, get sweet custom labels and bottle caps for your homebrewed beer at grogtag.com and use coupon code WRITERSBLOCKBREWING for a 10% discount off your entire purchase. And as usual guys, thanks for watching, thanks for your support, please subscribe, comment down below, like the video, cheers. Thanks again for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of You Brew, I Review. If you did so, please check out the playlist for all the episodes. You may also be interested in my episodic series, My Beer Story. Check out the playlist 
for all those episodes. It follows my adventures in homebrewing. Visit writersblockbrewing.com, follow us on Facebook and Instagram for behind the scenes brews and also the craft beers that I'm enjoying. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and like this video. Cheers.